Thank you so much. I must say I thought that was the best speech by a front rank politician that I've heard for years and years and years. So yeah. and not just the commitment but the understanding and the engagement. Mm -hmm. Uh, the process that you set out is an, an open process, willing to engage, kind of willing to learn, uh, ambitious, radical, but, but also practical. So the cooperative movement certainly looks forward very much to working with you, uh, not in opposition, but, uh, but in power. But thank you for taking the time to be here uh, today. Thank you too for so many that I see in the audience who do so much for the cooperative movement that are involved in all kinds of ways. There's some wonderful speakers here. Uh, I have to say thank you to Joe and to CBC for organising uh, the Ways Forward conference and it's a kind of pleasure, great pleasure uh, to be here. Joe described the cooperative movement as, um, uh, as a kind of flotilla of different types of boats and crafts and sleek sailing yachts and the odd shipwreck uh, as well. And I guess Cooperatives UK is probably the, you know, the flag on the mast, that way of signalling that actually being a cooperative is also about cooperating with others uh, in this country uh, and around the world. Uh, I'm reminded of the um, phrase, as you spoke, Joe, of uh, Fritz Schumacher, uh, E.F. Schumacher, who said that sometimes when times are tough, as they are today, you have to raise a sail for when the wind changes. You have to raise a sail in expectation that the wind will change. And it feels like this is a time that the wind is changing that those sales, those ideas, utopian, practical, in that special cooperative mix, can really uh, accelerate. Now, in the cooperative sector, we've been working hard um, over recent years to develop our own sense of how we grow the sector, because we are inspired. I said to David, um, David Thompson, who will be speaking in a, in, a, in a minute, great, you could be here today, um, that cooperation is a bit like um, soccer. I use that word because I thought you'd understand it. Um, in the sense that we invented it, um, we spread around the world and other nations do it better than we do. And that's how it feels because actually when you talk about doubling the cooperative sector, this is realistic, this is practical, it is not, it is not over ambitious. Um, if you look at uh, Finland, if you look at Switzerland, uh, you see countries that have over 20% uh, of their gross value added through the, the cooperative sector. In Italy, it's 10% of gross value added. In Argentina, it's 10% of, of gross value added. And what happens when you have that level um, of cooperation is, you might call it a cooperative effect, but it brings together, it brings together um, uh, a real impact in terms of particularly equality. The region of Emilia Romana around Bologna, I visited cooperatives there late last year. Over 40% of the regional gross value added is through cooperatives, and it's the region in Europe that has the lowest inequalities between rich and poor of anywhere in Europe. The same is true for Basque Spain, uh, the region of Mondragon and, and the cooperatives uh, kind of that are there, that have grown up, taken time. And what we see in the Basque region is taxation levels that are close to the UK levels and equalities that are close to Swedish levels of equalities. And that's an extraordinary effect. And that's not just cooperatives in the way that we can disperse ownership and share profits and economic gains. It's also the culture and the values that can take root when people understand that economy is there to be an economy uh, for, the, uh, for the common good. So working together on, uh, on, on the strategy for how we would develop and grow that sector in an ambitious way uh, over the next 10 to 20 or so years. Uh, we called it Do It Ourselves uh, because we wanted to be able to grow the cooperative sector from below. We wanted to be able to invite in uh, kind of partners, uh, trades unions, foundations, innovators, entrepreneurs into the cooperative sector to be part of this. And we set some core areas where we saw that there were opportunities for action. 
the growth of freelancer co-ops, uh, for example, in terms of the rise of the precariat uh, that you talked about, Rebecca, exactly those kinds of models being served by the classic model of mutuality, which is you may be powerless on your own, but when you come together, you can be powerful and you can have a power. Music teachers in Swindon did that when they were laid off by the schools. Contracts being let at the level of Swindon, they didn't go to Serco. The music teachers came together and their music teachers co-op won the contract to supply them. And then it turns out, who knew this, that music teachers don't like paperwork. So the co-op does the, the accounting, the bookkeeping and the invoicing uh, as well. Social care. Uh, a key area of need where cooperative models can bring that people-centred focus. Uh, platform co-ops, there's been a session on already today. And we've been working then through this, having launched that strategy and opened it up as an invitation to everybody to get involved with their ideas of what can be, uh, can be done. Uh, to look at the policy agenda to support some of this, and we've put this down in uh, kind of four steps uh, that are, are outlined here and above. And this is the start of a conversation. Some of this is a lot of technicality and detail, but we do want to see resources for cooperative advice and development. We do want to see an easier legal corporate framework uh, for uh, uh, cooperatives. And we do see the opportunities of worker buyout to help create the kind of economy that Mike Cooley would have been proud uh, to, to see. And so I just close on that by saying that you know we would love to work with any of our members, with anybody out there in terms of this agenda. I'm sure we will work through the Cooperative part Party as the natural partner uh, for the Labour Party. The New Economics Foundation will do what NEF does. There's a couple of associates uh, kind of here uh, today uh, on that. It is an exciting time. The wind is changing. It's time to get those sails in shape. Thank you very much.